Hello there everyone and welcome back. I killed myself a battle barge, all my ships are back up and running, and we got some new toys to play with here in the case of the Disrupt the Sap. Which could lead to some really critical... Yeah, it could be if essential for me when I'm having to face off against f enemy fleets that are going to try and outmaneuver me, so... But this is worth going to try out. I'm excited to see how this works, especially if it's stacking effect, which I don't know if that increase reduces the speed further or just increases duration. Also, we have Rally, which in theory, when I have like a handful of these, could be great at canceling any mutiny attempts that are on me, or insubordination rather from losing all the frigates that I'm trying to field. Also, let's get to 1v1 there. Let's fix that and continue on with the slaughter, shall we? Orcs are up for a good bashing. And they have been working out well, at least in the last two missions, and went horribly, horribly wrong for me against the Chaos, but those are kind of conflicting playstyles, aren't they? Chaos wants to stay as far away as possible, and they have the means to do it, whereas for my orcs to get in close, I need more than just the tractor cam from my evil Sun clan to kind of do that. And hopefully, the Disrupt the Sap can do that. And also, Micro Warp Jump could be helpful on that front as well, if I'm smart about how I'm utilizing it. Because one idea I've been thinking with the Micro Warp Jump is use it, if it's at all possible, to jump on the other side of the cruiser, the, or the Chaos ships, with it turned around and ram them into the rest of the fleet. But that requires a lot of sensor range for that to work effectively. I don't think 5,000 is going to be enough unless I'm already on top of them, so not likely to happen. But something I'll have to play with. Ooh, and speaking of getting kite and all that, we're fighting Eldar. 250 points, wow. This is an opportunity of some kind to play with something smaller. I just don't know what's the best route to take, because I'm not really equipped for this just yet. To deal with Eldar. I have Tracticans, which are going to help. Novacans are almost essential, because that's going to do permanent damage to the cruiser, assuming it hits. I just don't know how many shots I'm going to have, so... I really don't know how I'm going to do this, to be honest. Ooh, if only I could field like three cruises, that would be nice. Alright, let's keep it simple. I'm not going to have any frigates. This is going to suck if this doesn't work well for me. But the idea with that beacon... The reason I took this terror with the torpedoes is because that beacon will... Per I could throw that on to an Eldar ship as soon as I see it, and it can't run away from me. My sap can will gradually keep hitting it. Mind you, very unreliably, but at least I can keep hitting it for the f practically the full duration of the beacon. So, especially with these nebula clouds, it will help a little bit. Hmm. I'll spell it out for him, I think. This might suck for him if he has level 1s, because... Come on, I've been on the receiving end of this. I know what it's like to deal with favorite ships and, like... Really well upgrade ships at that there. So if he's got only two Auroras, this could potentially be a stomp. Although, to be fair, I kind of wish I had more tractor cannons. Although they will would kind of be short-lived, wouldn't they? If only a little bit. Not to mention the fact that they, their accuracy is reduced tremendously is a big deal too. So, 250 points, what does this tell me? One cruiser and three frigates. It's going to be hard as hell to try to lock them down, but on the plus side, if there's only one cruiser, then I can just throw this beacon on there and at least I can effectively keep an eye on that. The question is, what kind of cruiser is it? Is there any indication that is a... No, it doesn't. I'm not seeing any indication it's a Solaris. So I'm not seeing any fighters coming out. So, in theory, this could be an Aurora, yeah. <laughs> and I want to save this Novacan till point blank range, basically, to get the most possible, yeah, the mo the best possible accuracy. Because this thing exploding <laughs> is gonna cost me the match. I'm feeling that right now. If it blows up, it doesn't do enough damage to justify it. Then that alone could probably kill me. Because of how effectively he can kite. At least that's a theory. On the plus side, he's not going to have the easy, like, fail falls uh, maneuver to give him that extra range. So, where's torpedoes? 
there's a frigate there. That was already apparent. I might as well get my fires out, because I might as well use it for something. Because using board might not be effective. Although that may have been a bit of a waste. And I'm too close for torpedoes, unfortunately, but... Let me kill this thing. Oh, he's gonna boost out. So... Let me kill its engines. Is he boosting out? He's trying to, but... Did it kill it? I'm not sure. Yep, that got it. That's one frigate down. I still have my Nova Camp for the next shot. And I like the just lightning str I like the regular board this and it looks like I might just get that. Nope. But at least I have an opportunity to hit him now. Let me just use regular boarding torpedoes. Is this gonna work? Probably not. Not with that angle. And although to be fair, I could stasis bomb him into it. Let me make him turn into the torpedoes. Oh, and he actually has two Solaruses. Wow. I was not expecting that. And he burnt all his thrusters. So, sadly, I don't have my bombers available to me. And he did turn, but it wasn't enough. But I can bomb. Boarding might, in theory, be better. It's a, They have to get to him first is the problem. So, recharge. Burn. I think recharge might be better. He is going to pulse army down. And no mega can hits, which is unfortunate. I destroy nerf frigate, so that's good. Oh, and I have no mega cans on here. I'm an idiot. I thought I had mega cans. I do not. I instead have just torpedoes. So... You can ram me all you want. In fact, I kind of encourage it. Board me. In fact, I'll board you. Oh, he boosts out of the way at the last moment. Nope. I got assault boats. Damn it, too close. Too close, but I can board. Hull breach. Boring torpedoes did crap. And that was a whiff of a shot. That's unfortunate. And I need effective lightning strikes, which is unfortunate. It's not actually working that way. Oh, you lucky bugger. You lucky bugger. How that, how that went for you. So I'm going to dodge this. Going to take some more Pulsar hits. And he's lucky that did not hit him, but he took a crap ton of damage, so we're still in this. It's a shame my Bash is not doing crap. Do I let it go? I might as well preserve myself some. If only a little bit. I'll let it go just because, yeah, it's not even heavily damaged yet, so... I'm not cons too concerned about winning this fight just yet, because i would not really equipped to try and lock him down. I only had a Novacan going for me. Thankfully, it didn't break, but still. How can I... Let's see, am I hitting? Okay, I'm hitting now, so let me try and juke him a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit there. Although, as soon as I turn and engage, he's going to know where... As soon as I fire, he's going to know where I'm at. Oh! Now, please kill those engines for me. Again, another failure. No surprise there. So, I got some fires. That's good. He probably has repairs available, though. That's the only problem. So, probably not as effective as I would like. And Mike Warp Jump's going to be back up again, but can I get the hit I d so desperately want? Because once one of these dies, that's going to help me a ton. Let's see. 
He fires torpedoes. I'm not gonna get the I'm not gonna get my boring torpedoes I want. I argued boring torpedoes are probably not ideal at this point. I argue as much. And he is bailing, oh insuborning, so that's fine. And if he lets that go, then I have a chance to do something about this. Is that going? Okay, he let that go. There's still a chance for me to win this. Although, it's going to take an eternity, isn't it? But on the plus side, the longer it takes for him to do his strafing run, the more time I have to recharge my shields. Now, I want to time a boarding action for best results. Lightning strikes have been failing me so far. I think that much is safe to say. Let me get my boosters back up to maximize this. And it looks like he's about to bail as well, if I'm going to be honest. That's the impression I'm getting. That was a waste of a torpedo, but at least it would force him to not warp just yet. I'm still waiting for it. And I have a lightning strike. Nope, just out of range. He's a lucky bugger. I don't think I'm going to get in time. Nope, just a few seconds off. Damn it. Not that it was likely it was I was going to kill anyway with the follow-up attack. But that's fine. That is fine. It's a win at least, but I was kind of supposed to have the advantage there. And the Nova Cannon, well, the Nova Cannon did work for me there. It got one hit in. I think it did some damage on one of the cruisers, but I could have got better use out of it. Let's be honest. Also, I could have really threw him off if I made good use of Silent Running there. He would think I'd be somewhere else and maybe I could get a prime Nova Cannon shot as a result. That went better than I probably would have expected though otherwise. And I still handled it poorly is the thing. So let's keep this going. Let's keep these sap cans going. Because I don't see why not. I'm just trying to think since this is a different cruiser. Is there a possibility of something else I want to throw on here? I don't think there is. But I don't think it's there's going to be a lot of cases where I'm going to have two cruisers both out there. Unless I want to... Well, I, it is possible there, so... This doesn't have a weird boy tower, so let's keep the grots going. Especially with the torpedoes. Oh, and also my basher got a up, level up, so... And lost in the warp, so that's a little bit unfortunate, but... How do I want to upgrade this? Because... I'm going to have to really pay attention to how effective my fighters are at surviving, because I don't think it's going to tell me here anywhere, is it? Hold all for more. Nope. It doesn't want to tell me the base chance. And I don't see the ability here anywhere to really get a good idea. So I'll hold on to the upgrade for next mission. Or next time I feel it, I guess. And if I can somehow remember, then I could check, see what the base percentage it has to survive taking a hit. Which I assume, if it's like the other ones, are may is maybe 35%. I'm not sure if that's true for all the different factions, though. So upgrading this, upgrading the Flyboys to max would give me 65% resistance to them. Which is pretty fair odds. I would consider doing that if that's the case. If it's lower, then probably not. Because I don't expect those bombers and boarding ships to really do anything besides deny torpedoes. Which I think i rather focus on them. And find Space Marines. Considering how much I got stomped, you think I should have an advantage here, right? Although, who wants to, who wants, how likely is it going to be that Nuffle's going to screw me over if I go with three bashes with the uh, tractor cans, huh? Let's see. I like torpedoes. Torpedoes are good against space marines. And I sadly won't be able to get another uh, basha, so. Let's keep the torpedoes going. They have to get really close, that's the problem. And I tried this before, and Space Marines can outmaneuver torpedoes. Maybe this is a mistake. Let me focus on singling out the ships one at a time. I think that sounds like a better idea. I'm not sure if it really is or not. 
but with three tractor cans, you think I'd be able to stay in close, because that's what the hell happened to me, remember? If you saw my Space Marine videos, so I am hoping to use that strategy against them. And then we find out he's like level 7 or 8 or something. Oh, and I did not pay attention to mission type again, I'm an idiot. Too fixated on who I was fighting rather than the mission type. But numbers is okay here. It means I get more turrets, and potentially that means shooting down more of those boarding torpedoes more effectively. In theory, that's what that means. The hard part is trying to position myself in a way that's effective. So I think I'm going to go all out on this one here. Sounds really stupid. I should have at least one cruise on the right, just in case. And just move myself forward. And nope, not move you there. You stay in there and, and intercept any torpedoes. Intercept any torpedoes that might be in my way. Hell, I don't care about the nebula cloud because I'm going to be flying right at them anyway. So that's not really that important as far as I'm concerned. I just care about trying to refine the t my positioning some to take on these torpedoes. Because you know those are likely going to happen. I have no torpedoes of my own, and it looks like he's waiting for me. And he's not running, so that could mean anything. Oop, I'm getting my groupings wrong. So, what's the assumption he's going to do? He's going to do a hard turn in some direction. That's what I'm feeling. That's fine. It's, it's, he's making it apparent he wants to slow down the right, so... Let me position myself accordingly then. Because he can't see the cruiser, so he's sure as hell not going to be able to throw torpedoes off. And I'm hoping, if nothing else, that stasis bomb did slow him down. Okay, I found the cruiser, so if nothing else, that's spotting. So nothing too exciting there. So I'm identifying I'm okay with this. I'm just trying to figure out when I want to go all in. Do I? You lucky bugger. Come on, just keep shooting this cruiser down. Because really, if this cruiser dies, this game's over. Simple as that. And you destroyed my prow again, you jerk. This is the stupidest thing I just did. But the cruiser's gone, wow. Oh, I didn't even notice he had another frigate. So you, since you have no sap can or prow, Weaponry of any kind, you're just going to deal with that cruiser frigate for me. You're not pretty helpful. And my tractor can is about to come back up, so... He did... Yeah, he has 300 points, so actually, yeah, he could have gotten away with two cruisers. Maybe that was a little bit premature. Take those shields out for me, thank you. And just lock on and hopefully breach through that. Oh, that was the wrong ship anyway, so... That was pointless. And hopefully this thing... I really hope this thing doesn't die... My cruiser doesn't die to a damn frigate. I know it's got pitiful weaponry. But... It should be in good shape, right? And it's on fire, so this thing should be dead if he doesn't get... Oh, he can't emergency repair anyway. This thing is dead. Let's do our victory charge, shall we? That sucks. I was not paying attention to his level, though. But I had a fun time bashing that cruiser, at least, so... That was straightforward for me. Again, the beacon defense there kind of benefits me... You get wetter on the attacker or defender, I think, really. Because he has to make... He has to de either defend the beacons, which means I can effectively get close there. Or he has to come to me in, in order to engage the beacon. So that's win-win for me, regardless of what he does. 
so I'm happy about that. We got ourselves a level 5. Nice. The Bashers are moving up in the world, and we're one level away from my next cruiser. Do I have the renown for it? Probably not. But I can start saving up at least there. Let's see, 216, so yeah, I have enough to afford at least another cruiser. So I want to continue upgrading the Weird Boys. I'm okay with leaving that at 9,000 units for the time being. And did I give this sap tower? Yes, I did. I fully upgrade the Garots though, so let's try and fix that. And by the time this gets to level 6... Oh, I was thinking about the Mech Boys, was Fly Boys, wasn't I? I just completely neglected it had a sap cannon on it. So that's fine, I'll upgrade it in that case, because that would be more worthwhile and it gives me another weaponry until I find out that as soon as they get a critical hit on my prow, it destroys three weapons now. Good god, that's going to be horrible. Because the one thing I've been finding, as soon as they get a critical hit on the prow, it destroys not just the Nova Cannon, it'll destroy torpedoes, as well as possibly the Zap Cannon. That's what I'm afraid of. So this thing is going to have to make itself not really vulnerable. Because hell, the proof is what just happened to my Basher there. Two occasions, my prow was destroyed, and I'm pretty certain that destroyed the Mega Cannon as well. And that was... That was before I repaired it back up, and then it got destroyed again, so... I'm le I'm willing to believe that potentially also got rid of my sap cannon, didn't it? I was not paying attention to that. So, I'm in good shape, though. I'm really looking forward to this final day. Maybe I'll get to level 6, get in our cruiser, and everything's all bounced out level-wise, except for my battle cruiser, which I... could have threw in that match, I think, but it would have been really top-heavy, wouldn't it? Which I don't think would have worked well against Space Marines that can outmaneuver me.